this virtual trade show, Pandemic Edition. I'm Patrick Gauvin, your moderator today, and here they are, your hosts, Philippe Huguenot and Ryan Fleury. Hey, hey everybody. Hello. Hi guys, how are you? Very well, oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> thank you uh, for joining us on this insane, are, insane news yeah. day. 19, uh, 19 on the line, so that's pretty much uh, the crowd we expected. Thank you for being there. All right, so we have a full house at the booth. Yep. <laughs> so this is a first for a uh, trade show virtually. Yep. So how are you doing, uh, Ryan? I feel all right. <laughs> all things considered, I'm doing pretty good. Yourself? Not too bad. So we'll try to keep our space for the presentation and our hands clean. Yeah. Oh, hey. All right. <laughs> all right. So this is a great day to talk about automated smart store. Uh, Pat, is the sound okay? Yes, that's perfect. Perfect. All right. So thank you, everyone, for attending. All right. So the automated smart store, it's something we've been talking about for about a year now. Yeah. And we have several members on board. Exactly. It's an exciting opportunity for all of you to consider. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's uh, so far results have been interesting, quite positive. So let's get to it. So also the presentation will be very camera centric, but also the automated smart store also applies for photo labs at the same time. All right. So today we're going to go through um, we're, we're going to try to keep it as short as we can and to allow for as many questions as possible. Uh, so we're going to talk about first what is the automated smart store, so what's in it for you. Uh, we're going to do a trade show walkthrough, so within the DACUS booth. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to take uh, a look at the bigger, the DACUS biggerest promotion ever. Bigger, yeah, biggerest. That's, yeah, we that's have a new word. We have the bigger promotion now. No, the, the biggest promotion. The biggest promotion, now we're at the biggest promotion. Uh, Honestly, well, we'll get to it, but we've put a lot of energy into this. It's, uh, we're seeing the results. It's quite interesting to transform your stores. Uh, also, how to get started, because it's quite simple. So it's, this is not a big project. It can be a very uh, easy project to walk through. Um, we're going to also talk about the concierge service, because there's a lot of positive feedback from the concierge service. It's one of the services that is not really well known at DACUS. So... We want to take some time to walk you through it. It's a very extensive service as well that is I mean, pretty valuable to everyone who uses it as well, especially when you're starting up with your automated smart store. Yeah. The concierge service is like invaluable. Like it's, it's crazy. All right. So the automated smart store is a concept we've been looking at and thinking about for quite a long time now. And we've actually managed to put all the pieces together and they work very well together. So for any retailer, camera business or not, the holy grail is really to have a modern solid point of sale that's connected to a high quality web store and website and also integrates all the product information into the mix. All of that automated, so really providing a modern, uh, scalable business and reducing the amount of staff that's required to run such a sophisticated business. Uh, the major benefits of putting all this together in a nutshell, it's all the systems are synced together. So they are all talking one, to one another without you being involved. Uh, automating your business, so you spend less time entering data and doing non-profitable redundant tasks, and so everything is automated. Um, also, by having all your products online to be found by customers online, and also they can shop online or in store. Uh, you want to be able to sell more of everything online and in store. And also, at the end of the day, a better system in-house and a better website will lead to happier staff. So we'll get around that. Can we close this here? Or minimize? Yes, we can. There we go, guys. Yep. Yeah, a couple of things. All right. So we're just going to go point by point so that you guys can really look at all the facets of the automated store. So in... First off, it starts with your point of sale connected to your web store. So it automatically synchronizes your product availability, pricing, and stock level from your point of sale, which is your source of truth, to your web store. So then right now, most of you that ha don't have this automation, you have a few 
dozens, few hundred products online. But with the automation, you can have thousands of products online. So no more double entry. So you don't need to now manage your point of sale and your online store. It's all managed as when you take care of your point of sale, it also takes care of your web store. Uh, as we talked about, thousands of products online. So I was pretty happy at the last uh, pro show in Scottsdale. Uh, finally, members are getting around to it saying that, well, customers are coming to my store because they don't see it on my website. So they're not going to take the time to drive to your store. Mm -hmm. So this really solves a key issue. If, if they don't find the product online, they might consider that you don't have the product. So this is really a big pain point for consumers that's being solved right here. And that, at the end of the day is once you get found, you can sell more. Now the second part now that your your store, I'm going to stop, uh, stop you for a second here. Uh, with the transitions that we've made and the automated smart stores that we've activated over the past little while, um, the amount of products available on your web store has doubled, tripled, whatnot. And as Phil was saying, more people online are going to find this information and that becomes a valuable tool. Um, to add to that, once they find you online, a lot of the time for those higher priced items, they may walk into the store and they may want to talk to you more about it as well. Yeah. So, you know, that they can see that you have all these accessories on top of that that normally you wouldn't take the time to add is definitely a big bonus. It's automated. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, and also like the, the other end of the spectrum, the long tail, where you guys, it's kind of hard to rank for the latest and hottest camera because mm -hmm. you have all these Amazon review sites and everything else. But everything that makes you a specialty retailer, the long tail, the accessories, where you make higher profit margin and better return on your money, this is where you can be found as a specialty store for lenses, tripods, bags, batteries, and so on. And so, again, being found with all these thousands of products online is really a key thing to make you a specialty retailer and to get found for all these accessories. So now that you your point of sale is synced to your online web store, now, when a transaction is made online, it goes back right into your point of sale. So you keep track of everything. It's smooth. There's no double entry. And so it automates the business again, so it keeps it simple. Now, one of the key things right here is also the massive product information database provided by Dacus. We're talking mm -hmm. over 150,000 products in our database. So we've been at this for over 10 years of yeah. building the database. So it's, it's a beast. And... Obviously, you can hire somebody to enter the product information and so on, but that's a non-value added task. We often get the question, but am I going to have the same content as somebody else? Will that be considered duplicate content? You know what? For Google today, they want to be sure that if it's a certain camera or product, it's the same everywhere. So having the same information is actually a benefit rather than a negative in this mm -hmm. case for shopping. And there's nothing worse than a search engine not knowing exactly what a product is. Yeah. A search engine is a bot. They, they want to be sure that if that is camera ABC, <laughs> then they, they are sure it is so they can rank you for it. So having that complete product database is really for the holy grail, the automated smart store. Everything that it, it sticks everything together. So it saves you a lot of time, a lot of headaches. And for all the guys that we've put on the automated smart store, that is one of the key features they'll tell you about. It's um, all the time that they saved, and they can actually spend more time focusing on value-added work within the store rather than entering product information. Yep. We're good. We're good. All right. Instant rebates made simpler or simple. Uh, we're going to talk about this a bit later on in another slide, but we have basically two ways to go about it to making creating your instant rebates, showing them in a point of sale and online, and then for you to be able to create your reports and claim your refunds a lot faster. So this is quite exciting. With the Automated Smart Store, we really simplify the whole process of managing, creating, and getting a refund for instant rebates. We'll get later to it with more details with Ryan. That's right. Um, also, like I said, the Automate Smart Store is not just for the web store portion, also for your printing portion. So you can also sync your printing products, uh, what it could be prints, canvas, mugs, and whatnot, between your point of sale and online. So whenever an online printing order is made, it goes back into your point of sale. And the same for your DACIS kiosk. They can connect directly to your point of sale. I was going to interrupt you there and mention that, but you mentioned it. It was mentioned. Uh, it shall be mentioned again. 
All right. All right. So this is also a key point for having one central system to train your staff, to, to, to look at information. So again, simplifying your business is a key point of having your Dicus web store printing and everything else in one system. So it makes, a lot, it, makes it a lot easy, easier for all your staff. Uh, better tracking of your repairs. So within the Lightspeed Point of Sale, that's one of the key features where you can create work orders to track your repairs. So we've heard a lot of members being very excited about this. So that was also a very important aspect of this point of sale. Uh, also, one swipe payment. Right now, I guess most of you are doing for a first a payment through the payment terminal and then double keying that in the point of sale. So by having one system that talks together, well, it looks very professional. You have modern also hardware. You reduce the number of mistakes. And at the end of the day, you're dealing also with one provider to have all that information in one system. So if ever technology goes wrong, like never goes wrong, but if should it go wrong, you have one number to call and you, you won't be arguing if it's the point of sale that's not working or the payment terminal or the processor and so on. So it keeps everything simple, keeps all your information in one place, right? Yeah, it's pretty important to deal with just one person, one point of contact when things go wrong. Yeah, like it's if, <laughs> if, yeah, if, if, when, yeah. So, yeah, as Phil said, like it's very important to have everything going back and forth, right? So you complete your sale <laughs> through your payment terminal, and that information goes right to your point of sale as well. So that's what I was saying. That's, that's pretty awesome. Also, as we move forward in retail, uh, the operating cost is pretty important, and the staff cost is one of that key component where you can make it or break it in terms of making profit or making a loss. And this is where when we can automate the business and keep the managing your point of sale, your web store, and your printing simpler, every staff that you have is working on key things, value-added work rather than grunt work or just daily tasks that don't create any value. So you're better off having uh, yourself as the owner, the manager, and your key people creating value for the business rather than working on mundane tasks. Mm -hmm. Developing relationships with customers, having more time to be focused on that, you know? Like when, when do we all do work here at Dacus, right? When we're knee deep in some, some tasks and someone comes to talk to us from the office, you know, like we have to change our focus on a dime. So, you know, as employees, if you're not focused on tasks like um, entering data into a website, like that, you know, you can be more focused on actually talking to the customers you know, that moment they walk into the store. Exactly. Yeah. And it gives you more time, then maybe you can also do your instant rebate reports during the week rather than the, on Sundays. So also, again, but I, ideally, the, the, the key point is automation can also, if it can save you one, two, or three bodies, uh, a lot less headaches also to run your business. Mm -hmm. uh, also, again, minimizing the number of, of providers. So with Lightspeed and Dacus, you have two solid companies. Uh, yeah, that working work well together. Yeah. yeah. So Dacus is not only a Lightspeed reseller, but we're also a development partner. So that means that we have access to their API, their codes, and everything else. And so we have a very strong integration within that point of sale. And we've selected Lightspeed because most of the members was the point of sale of choice. And it turns out they're also in Montreal. So for us, it's cool. a plus because we can easily hop on the subway and go see them. Exactly. Yeah. And so we get things done a lot faster this way. So this is great. But for yourself, by minimizing the number of vendors, you minimize the cost of integration, numbers to call, headaches, systems to consult, and everything else. It makes it a lot e easier for you. Yeah. But it's, all, it's more also than just um, what was popular with the retailers going forward. Like w when you think about the fact that maybe, you know, one day you want to consider other options for your store or whatnot, it's pretty important to have modern infrastructure in place. Yeah. Right, like there's some POSs out there that are, I mean, they're older. It's like running DOS, right? Whereas you're talking about Lightspeed, it's it's a fresh interface. It's attractive, and it works well with a Dacus website, which is fresh and attractive and responsive and working all the devices and all that stuff as well. So, it's it's a it's a firm, it's a solid relationship that works to benefit everybody. That was a great introduction to our next point. So exactly, it's so a lot of you guys are hiring millennials and younger staff that never operated a DOS type of system. So if you're still on an old POS, well, guess what? They don't want to work for your business because they don't know what a DOS system is. It looks like crap. And so if you have an attractive 
point of sale, you'll be able to recruit better staff, retain them. It's also a lot easier to learn because it's just touchscreen rather than understanding and memorizing all these DOS operations. Uh, also, if you don't have a top-notch website, people nowadays are they're on their phone and everything else. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's easy to make a low-cost website. But the thing is, you guys are paying rent, you're paying staff, you're paying advertising, uh, you also have the bank that's funding a lot of your, your stuff. So it's important that you have also a website that will contribute to your business. So having a quality website, it's not about saving 100 bucks a month. It's about making the money yeah. and being able to support all these costs and making you a very successful business. So all in all, having a modern point of sale and a modern website will also allow you to have and attract better staff, retain them, and have happier, happier staff at the same time. That's right. Another very positive, and this is usually when you have your foot in the bear trap that you learn this one, it's to avoid costly integrations. So with the DACIS system and Lightspeed, it's very easy. We can get you on board and so on. Usually what happens is that if you go out, get some sort of other e-commerce solution, and you have another point of sale solution, and they don't talk to one another, then you need to do that costly integration. It could be fifteen, twenty-five, fifty thousand dollars take you months, turns into years. It's a great headache. It steers your focus away from your business into something that is not producing any value for you. So we have made enough integration between DACIS and Lightspeed that we're very confident that this is a perfect solution where you're going to avoid these high integration costs and those big projects that can really go wrong. And we've seen a lot of retailers that some of these projects, they put six figures into that project yeah. and it really went sideways and we've seen some business like Cord Camera and so on like really uh, leave our landscape for, because of such projects. Yeah, it's something to be said too about web developers, right? Um, I mean, we know what we're doing. We've been dealing with the camera industry for years and years and years and years and years. The web developer that you're going to hire may not know what's important, yeah. important to you, important to your industry specifics. Exactly. Or they lure you in with a low-cost web store and point of sale. But that cost really doesn't amount to anything compared to that integration cost and the time you'll be spending on putting all the pieces together. So with DACIS and Lightspeed, that is avoided because it is seamlessly integrated together. So you can have the peace of mind that it's working. It's going to be working fast for you. Mm -hmm. Another key point is now that in today's environment, when we look at uh, retailers, they have a website, but it usually branches out to a bunch of different portals. By gathering all your assets and your services on one website, you become the 800-pound gorilla. It is a lot simpler to make one big good website than several small ones. And several small ones will never amount to one big website. Yeah, that's true. It's, having several websites, it's hard to rank. Having one website, easier to rank. So you're competing with yourself. Exactly. What? Uh, just one second. Our moderator wants to say something. Yes, a question from the field. From Jen. Uh, Jen's wondering um, if Lightspeed on-site will sync with Dekis mm, website. It will not. That's no, a good no, question. And, and neither is Lightspeed on-site support. I don't think so. They're, they don't even support Lightspeed on-site anymore. No, they're well, they've moved away from that. Uh, years ago so on-site is not on the radar anymore for Lightspeed. Nor for us. No. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. It's not available to sell or resell anyway. Yeah. So. so going back to that 800 pound gorilla, so not only is it better for SEO and to drive traffic, but also consumer experience, a lot less click. It's easier to showcase everything that you offer. And the camera business is a very complex business because not only are you selling hardware, mm -hmm. you're selling printing, in-store services like passport photos, restoration, stuff like that, yep. classes, yep. use good, rentals, and so on. So the list goes on and on. So being able to well communicate all these services within a website is great. And one of the key things about the DACIS web store, it comes integrated with the DACIS high performance website. And so with a lot of e-commerce platforms, it's really hard to best showcase your services and to integrate all your classes, use products, and everything else. Whereas with DACIS, it's easy also to create beautiful 
pages for all your store services to create better SEO and so on. And better landing pages also when you have product int uh, introduction for uh, new cameras and accessories. So you really have a very nice and well-rounded environment to, uh, that's very pleasing for consumers that, and also will translate in more sales for your business. Also, having a modern point of sale allows you to better uh, get better information on your, your consumers. So maybe today you don't have a, a good profile of who your customers are, where they live, and so on. But by using a modern point of sale that has all the analytics and business intelligence integrated into it, like Lightspeed, well, you'll be able to find new reports and a lot more information that will help you tell your, your marketing strategy, advertising, know where to advertise uh, in terms of geography and so on. So better knowing your customer is a key point with a modern point of sale. Uh, also better managing your inventory. So <clears throat> a modern point of sale is not just a point of sale. It also acts somewhat like an ERP. So to plan your purchase, restocking level, purchase history and forecasting. So this is something also that Lightspeed does well. So better managing the inventory and better, better helping you understand where you stand in terms of stock level. Uh, reorder points, and forecasting. Um, some of you might be thinking about an exit strategy uh, in the future. So having a well-structured store that operates smoothly, that's very profitable, will allow you to find interested parties into eventually taking over the business. So this is also a key point in, maybe it's not on your mind today, but it might be not on your mind in five or 10 years. So having a well organize, automate business is always valuable, uh, not only if you want to exit, but also if you're meet, meeting your bankers and so on. So it's a, a true positive to have a good, solid uh, business, good modern business. Uh, also, another key point is that having a modern point of sale and a modern web store like Lightspeed and DAC is put together, it's not the end game. It's actually the starting point of a lot of more evolution that will be coming on so it is quite exciting where we can, where, where we'll be able to transport you guys with this, with a lot more intelligence to guide your advertising, in-store experience, and so on. So to be a specialty retailer is also to provide a better in-store experience, a better online experience, and to have benefits and strength that you can't find at Amazon, Walmart, and other stores, and mass merchant stores. So this is just actually the beginning. It's not the end of the journey. So it's quite exciting. Yeah. The very strong beginning too. Very strong beginning. Very strong. So it is a game changer. Uh, obviously, there's no solution out there that's perfect. But I think the important point about what we're presenting as the automated store being used by a lot of pro members, or at least right now a few, but a really growing number of pro members, is that you need to focus on all the problems that this is solving. Because we're solving a lot of problems. We're doing, a there's a lot of benefits. So. Sometimes we go to trade shows and people are trying to find and nag at things we don't have. So obviously there's no perfect solution, but if you look at the bigger picture and what is really important, you'll find that we're, we're targeting everything that's important and we know that this solution can make you successful. So all in all, this is a real game changer. Wait, we have a question, I believe. Yes, uh, there's an inter interesting question from the field. Uh, it's from uh, Carter. Hi, Carter. Uh, <laughs> hi, Carter. Uh, he's wondering if um, Dacus provides feeds data uh, to Lightspeed Ecom, the, the Lightspeed websites. Well, we have right now on screen YM Camera. They were using Lightspeed Ecom. And the thing is, uh, no, we cannot feed our data into the Lightspeed Ecom. And also, the Lightspeed Ecom compared to the Dacus web store, uh, you'll find a lot of negatives to it. Uh, so YM Camera went from being a Lightspeed and Lightspeed Ecom customer to a Lightspeed and a Dacus web store. That's right. You did that because, first of all, all the product information was provided by Dacus for his web store. Uh, secondly, if you look just the search tool today in cameras for, for camera website, is so important. We have a spectacular search tool uh, integrated as part of our service in the Dacus web store. Yeah, that's true. The, other e-commerce solution, the search tool is a bit subpar. Oh, we've tried them all, eh? Like you would, you try searching for common, like a D700 or D750, 
something like that. Yeah. And uh, the results that would come out, uh, they, they'd be kind of like a, a mixed bag of brands and of unrelated items. Like, uh, I'm looking for a camera body, and I'm looking for it to come, you know, from a specific brand. And if there happens to be an instructional book about it, well, better make sure that it's about that camera, you know? So, yeah. How about rentals? <laughs> Uh, How does it go with creating SKUs for it? Do, do we address this later? In wait, the I just want to finish the first question. Also, uh, other things you'll find with the Lightspeed Ecom is that you cannot create w uh, good uh, service pages for your in-store services. So again, with SEO and providing a very nice experience, it's not there. Uh, also, integrating other solutions. So you'll, you'll have your printing on another website. We've talked about being an 800-pound gorilla. Mm -hmm. So with Lightspeed Ecom, you won't. And so for some of the benefits that you'll find with Lightspeed Ecom, including the cost and the integration to Lightspeed, the, the amount of negatives in terms of providing a good experience online, selling all your solutions, integrating everything, uh, all the negatives are so great that this is a reason why I've changed to the Dacus web store. Yeah, yeah sir. Yeah, sir. Well, I was just going to say, like you can see there in a quote, and we're going to make this presentation available to, to all of you after the fact, uh, probably by tomorrow. Um, I will be adding an appendix also with some links to helpful articles inside of this article. But um, I'd encourage you all to read the, the testimonials that have been provided to us from uh, various retailers. Uh, for instance, Ravi here talks a lot about how, as Phil was mentioning too, about how easier it's become for him and how much time he's been saving operating his business because he doesn't have to worry about collecting data, you know, and the information from his Lightspeed Retail POS sends products over to his website, they activate, and he doesn't have to worry about getting the relevant and the click-friendly information, the, the, the browser information that, that, that's important, uh, that will help generate traffic for your website. So, you know, although, yeah, it's possible that you can, you can get this all done, it, it just will take so much time doing it on your own. Whereas we can really facilitate that task for you and um, allow you to, you know, no. indulge no. in such things as free Sundays, <laughs> free Sundays and barbecue. Yeah. Also, you guys know one another, so you can also pick up the phone, call Robbie, and yeah. you can get it. Well, you can get his true opinion uh, directly with a phone call. So uh, we put the testimonials testimonials over there. We know you all know each other. Call them up. So question about rentals? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, a um, few people that were asking about rentals and also used products. Okay. So data that they might be creating and how, how does it go for like creating SKUs and then syncing? Okay, well, I mean the, the huge question is, is quite topical considering it's one of the uh, points mentioned in the next slide, so thank you for that. <laughs> um, about rentals. Um, well, I mean, you can put those items into your light speed point of sale, right, and rent them out, but you need a good rental module deal. Yeah, so yeah. far, the, the, the most popular solution we found uh, and used by member was uh, Checkfront. Yeah, exactly, Checkfront is used by a lot of pro members. Um, you can find it in our marketplace, actually, if you want to. Yeah, important thing out. about Checkfront as a rental module, it is offered through the Dacus marketplace. You will want to go on dacus.com. Go to the marketplace, click on Checkfront, and register from there. Reason being is that if you register through our marketplace, we do integration for free. If you go right to Checkfront and register, we'll need to charge you for the uh, the integration. Mm -hmm. So this is a key thing. For Obviously, we're getting a bit of money from Checkfront to do this. This is why we can do the integration for free. So mm -hmm. the money that we're actually getting from Checkfront is also to be able to pass that money down to you in terms of not charging you for that integration. So uh, so obviously, thank you for going to the marketplace and clicking on that link to register Absolutely. to check front. Uh, besides that, I've not heard or seen a good way just between Dacus and Lightspeed to do rentals outside of check front. No, n neither have I. No, no. Use good. I think we can look at uh, the yeah, camera well, company. We can look at the camera company. What Ward does is that he actually goes into the webpim. And he, he'll find like a generic item for uh, for a camera, a generic, sorry, a, a generic photo for a camera, and he'll put like a little notification under, underneath it that says this is a used item. So what he does is that he creates this camera, uh, this lens, you, you name it. Uh, he can assign certain specs to it, you know, like I am a lens, I am a body, I am a mm -hmm. kit, stuff like that. And uh, once, once one is sold, 
um, he can take that off of the website, but then if he gets another unit in that meets the same criteria or that is essentially the same item, he can then reactivate it, you know, so that saves him a lot of time. So it duplicates the items, so it's really quick. It's well, actually, in this case, he's not duplicating the item. All he's doing is turning it off and saving it for another day, hmm. right? Yes. And so he was also on BigCommerce, which is a big e-commerce solution. That's right. And so another good reason to switch to the Dacus web store was, again, the, uh, the product information, the completeness of the site, the ease to use to make the use items. So a lot of benefits, and he also really loves his new site. So yes. yeah, and he had a great time designing it too. There was a lot of back and forth, and Ward was actually an, an excellent, an excellent customer to work with, because he was very proactive in communicating his desires and his needs through uh, the designer Giordano, who dealt with it. Mm. Props to Giordano if you're watching this. Um, I'll tell you that we mentioned you later because you're not watching it. So the um, so props to uh, to Giordano for making a great design, and props to Ward for exchanging with them. And together they built something that's actually a beautiful website, you know, like, uh, and Ward is incredibly pleased because he got everything that he wanted out of it, you know, and he's saying that compared to the big commerce website, it's a more modern interface, exactly. you know, and that the data is accurate and that he doesn't have to hunt for it, you know. Exactly. Um, when, when, when things like this, we have here, a, we prepared these for the trade show, but unfortunately we're not around. Uh, <laughs> the, um, these new cameras come out right here. And they're in our database like the same day. Uh, this is the XT4. The XT4 was in our database like before your store would have opened. Yeah. You know. So our, our product team uh, is very proud of being the first to produce the product information. And their claim to fame is always to beat B&H at uh, providing information faster than them. So Ooh. they're on the ball with the new stuff. Uh, you can be assured that when a product, a big release is made, new product information will be in the DACIS database. And they're very proud of the work they do too. Oh, like, yeah. They're so stoked when you get something out before DNH. Was, they're stoked <laughs> often. I love it. Yeah. Uh, quick question from uh, Larry. Um, Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. <laughs> um, do you have an integration? Well, does uh, Lightspeed uh, have an integration with uh, accounting, like QuickBooks? Or is there a module to help connecting with the accounting uh, system? Okay, I think maybe that's a question we should address at the end with Patrice. Does that yeah. make sense? So for the short answer is that there's a Lightspeed accounting connector. It links to the most popular accounting software. We'll, we can provide uh, all the details later. But there is a, an accounting a connector with Lightspeed. Yeah. Thank you for the question, Larry. It's very good. So, yeah, take over. Okay. So these are some of the points that we're going to be talking about in our digital trade show. Uh, starting off principally with the instant rebates made simple. This was a big deal topic for a lot of you. So we're going to get into that, talk about it. Um, the, also, the inventory sync between your point of sale to your web store is another topic we'll be touching on. Your online web store sales and how they sync with the POS, so that circular motion of having the sale made online and then bloop, showing up in your register and then how you can close it. Um, never entering another product description, spec sheet, or gathering image. Man, we, we've said that like about 20 times already yeah. today, but we'll talk about it some more. All right. Let's get to it with instant rebates. Yeah. Cool. Oh, oh, before. <laughs> <laughs> but before, yeah. Um, we are very open to talking to all of you one-on-one -on -one with some screen shares after the fact. Um, I would recommend you contact us through sales at dacus.com. You can send us an email yep. and or info at dacus.com and say, hey, I would like to talk to you about any point in particular, but these are some of the points that are a little more worth worthy discussing, such as syncing the online photo solution with the Lightspeed POS and uh, how the orders sync. Yep. Right? So we were getting ready for an actual trade show. So this is kind of weird for us <laughs> yeah. to be able to show you some of the stuff that we want to showcase live at the show. I mean, we even got the new background and everything else. We're ready for the show. But yeah. uh, so we're going to make the best of it today. But obviously, a one-on-one -on -one screen share is probably the best way to go to yeah, yeah. answer really specific questions, to show you some screens, uh, and also to, to show you some walkthroughs of uh, how to connect various things together or things that questions that you might have so yeah. so anyways either myself or Fares or um, Patrice will be able to give you a hand we'll be able to set some time aside share our screen our knowledge our know-how 
Um, for those of you who don't know Farez, we'll we'll get him on screen a little later so that you can you know <laughs> put a face to the name. Well, we've talked about him. So Farez, can you come up here? Yeah, Farez. <laughs> that means that we need to change things here. The presenter, eh? Wait, no, he's gone. All right. Come here, Farez. Here we Farez go. Farez is on stage. Here's the man. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone. Oh, we're not seeing you. Wait. I'm there right you go, here. Buddy. This is Farez. Hello, everyone. He's brand new. Hi. He's tall. Probably tried to reach you a few times already. <laughs> <laughs> Return his calls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guy. So, yeah, so do book some one-on-one -on -one meetings. Uh, obviously, our plan at the show was to have a virtual, uh, a real demo store and to walk you through, through every point on that store. So with a one-on-one -on -one meeting, we can do a lot more with a screen share. So that the webinar, I think we want to hit some key points to maybe create some questions and uh, at least answer most of your questions, but also to help you guide your questions for one-on-one -on -one meeting. <coughs> There's a pretty good question here from uh, Brett uh, Harmon. Hi, Brett. Hello. Uh, hey, Brett. Hey, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Brett uh, seems to be concerned. How do you guys uh, are going to handle manage without the NHL? Um, <laughs> bye. <laughs> it's going to be a hard one. Yeah. Sorry, does that mean the NHL has been canceled? This is news to me? Yeah, it was announced. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. I think it is. I think it is. All right. <laughs> Lots of Netflix. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be it. Well, our, our team starts this year, so it's going to be quite easy for yes. us to move into uh, into uh, the terrace mode and to the summertime mode, so we'll, uh, we'll make the best of it. There, there are a few more, more questions for you. Um, I'm not too sure about... Maybe I'll ask you guys to precise your questions a little bit, so be quick on your keyboard. Um, it's about integration. Uh, <clears throat> will the DACIS e-commerce allow API submission feeds? I'm not sure if we're talking about Google Merchant there or um, and then there's a similar question as well. Um, currently on big commerce for web store Dacus or oh, sorry, no wrong question. Uh, does Dacus web store support omni channel integrations uh, with uh, eBay, Amazon, allowing automation of the inventory uh, and orders? Patrice, you want to take this one or do you want to take it later? Patrice, you can't go on stage. No, this is a Patrice question. Come on, Patrice. You can do it. Yeah. All right. How many people Take can we get in this booth? Call me. <laughs> you can call him Frank Hi, everyone. It's getting a little crowded here, so we're going to wish Chef Perez a good afternoon. Um, so to the question, I believe Troy was asking about the API submission feeds. Currently, you can submit your entire site both the hardware products, so the cameras and accessories, as well as the photo factory <laughs> products, so everything under that printing tab, um, directly to Google Merchant, that goes right there. We don't currently have eBay or Amazon uh, feeds available, but those are in the roadmap at some point for 2020. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. Welcome, guys. I'll let you guys take it over. Yeah, so uh, also on like a side note, more, uh, questions. sorry, Patrick, now, just uh, finish this. One. Just uh, as a side note, uh, at Dacus we've come 360 on the new platform. So the last piece was released in January, the new shopping cart, mm -hmm. and we have also the new user account. Mm -hmm. So right now we're working a lot of new features. Uh, very exciting for us that we don't we finish all the core components, and so now we can start working on uh, the marketplace integration and things like that. But also, if you look at DACIS.com Marketplace, you can see that our ecosystem is growing rapidly. So if you talked about eBay or connecting to other sorts of marketplace, uh, it's on our roadmap. And now we have the ability to move forward. So it is something for 2020. Patrick? Excellent. So thank you uh, all for being here. So can we move on? Oh, well, you said there was another question, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, is there a question maybe we can look at it? At let's of... move on and let's get back to it. Okay. Back to your yes. One second. Let me just fix the screen here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Thanks, Pat. We're good to go? Yes, you are. All yes. Right, awesome. Go ahead. Uh, we've covered this slide. <laughs> All right. So. Instant rebates made simple, the hot-button topic aside from the automated smart store. 
is how is this going to assist me with the manufacturer instant rebates? Okay, so there are two kind of paths you can take. The one where you do it for you and the one where you can do it yourself. And by doing it for you, it's like a call share service essentially. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So the way it's going to happen is that we're going to create the rebates inside of your MyDAX account. As we've been doing this, uh, the, the people who have been using the Concierge service have been fortunate enough to have this uh, solution already. Okay. Once that gets done, that information will get sent into the Lightspeed account. Okay. So you're going to have essentially two items. One that's going to be your main item. Hold on, I have an example right here. One is going to be your main item and another one next to it, which is going to be the instant rebate inside of your Lightspeed account. Okay, so that means that when you scan this barcode right here, which I could probably show you. One second. Here we go. So, here, could you hold that up for me, Phil? There you go. So, you can see right here, I'm going to scan this. And there you go. So you can see that the camera is there and so is the instant rebate. So what I'm going to do is add the camera, add it to the sale. Then I'm going to scan the product again at the register. And I'm going to add the instant rebate at the sale. And then you can see that your price here, the camera is $749.99. I've applied the instant rebate and taxes have been applied to this. So in Quebec, where we have a 9,000% tax, the price is now up to 680. <laughs> can, you, can you tilt it a little bit because like we this? get the reflection? Yeah. Okay, there you go. So the price is now set to $684 taxes in. So it applied the instant rebate directly to the product. There you are. Okay. So then you can um, go into your reports, right? You can use your regular reports to see what's been sold, and then you can... Well, you can get all the information you need for your refund claim. Exactly. Right. So it's a lot faster than what most of you guys are doing today, and it's all well synced between the online and the, the POS. That's right. Now, the other option is that you do it yourself. So you can create your instant rebase inside of the Lightspeed point of sale. Now, there are different methods. Everyone has, like, their own particular way of doing it inside of Lightspeed. Uh, One second. One key point is that with Lightspeed, you can have serialized products. So that's well covered mm. in Lightspeed. That's true. So that will also help you yeah. claiming your, fee, your uh, refunds. All right. So the do-it-myself method for a retailer is that they would create the instant rebates instead of Lightspeed using method X, Y, Z. I can't really tell you which is the right one or which is the wrong one. It's up to you. Okay. And then your instant rebate is created by yourself inside of your MyDAX account. So you can do that pretty easily through a CSV import export. Yeah, under that just signs really easy yeah, yeah. through the CSV, so that's a non-issue. Yeah, there's a tutorial online as well that kind of lays that out for you. Yeah, if you're not sure, we can always show you the tutorial and show you how to do it through the CSV import in my Dacus. Yeah. So then, I mean, the, the same way we did it before, you would scan it and then you use whatever method you prefer to apply the instant rebate in store. Or the person buys the camera online and the instant rebate is automatically applied. Right? So it's a one scan process. I yep. believe in in this scenario. Yep. There you go. Then you can use Lightspeed Analytics to get a serialized report, so you can get your refund claim. Yeah. So that makes it really easy. Yeah. Pretty simple stuff. So all in all, maybe a couple of Sundays, a couple of barbecue will be saved, and it's going to make instant rebates manage more more manageable. That's yeah. For sure. Yeah. Well, I, the the do it for me method that we use is actually pretty interesting. You know, paired with the Corsair service where. You set them up in my DACUS, and then pow, they get created instead of a light speed. Yeah. Right? Like, I mean, that's, that, that saves you a bunch of time. Exactly. You know, the pain point, you need to scan a UPC twice. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the biggest deal in the world. Yeah. I, well, a lot of people on the concierge, we've been doing this for, for some time now. And just the time that they save, and also online, because our system also allows to, once the date is attained it removes the also the, the rebate online so it's automated so uh, the people that we've been helping them with a concierge service they really appreciate all the work that we do for automating their instant rebates but also yeah. how the DACIS web store deals well with serialized products and instant rebates uh, something that Lightspeed Ecom does not do well 
Yeah, you should also ask around to the other people who are using a concierge service who are DAC as customers. Uh, to them, having the manufacturer instant rebates set by someone here has been a has been a literal lifesaver. Like, yeah, uh, we, we, uh, uh, yeah, a small uh, difficulty about the sales tax and the instant rebates. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have the flexibility to uh, add it before the uh, instant rebate is uh, removed? Yeah, there's a switch both in Lightspeed and in my DACA to do that. Mm -hmm. And the information can most likely be sent down from my DACA into Lightspeed. Okay, good. That was a question from uh, Tony. Thanks, Tony. Hi, Tony. <laughs> All right. So again, for a one-on-one -on -one meeting, instant rebates could be a, a good reason for a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Uh, moving along. Yes. Oh, by the way, before, um, this is a note I took for myself. Um, as I said previously, there are help articles uh, that are either completed or being completed that I will be adding to this presentation so that you'll be able to consult them once you have this presentation between your hands, meaning in your screen, whatever. Nuance. All right. Inventory sync with light speed. All right, so we're going to talk about the nitty gritty a little bit, like how this thing works. So let's assume for a second that you got light speed and your UPC is a hunky dory. Everything is great. So the next thing you need to do is either populate your whole my DACUS account because you're a new DACUS user or you're already a DACUS user and you just want to add this new camera to your inventory. So you make sure that your UPC is okay. Um, Let's assume that you're already a DACA's customer. You have a periodic sync that's set in your account. And for instance, every hour on the hour, my DACA's will look at what's inside of your Lightspeed account. If it sees any UPC, it's going to try and match it with something that's inside of our database. If it's matched, it's going to give you a big thumbs up in the form of adding that product to your web store. Um, all the product data is going to be there. Your prices are going to be there. Your quantities are going to be there. Uh, like I mean it's done your website is set for that product right away so you know you just got to make sure that your SKUs match and by the way the UPC sync will send the SKU the initial SKU to that product so there you go so that's in Magical. a nutshell it is <laughs> All right. let's keep on going here alright online sales syncing with Lightspeed so this is a little four step overview of what happens there are different methods and that, that can be approached, that can be used, or, you know, we, we never really know how our customers are going to react, so this can account for all of those. So, you can see here, top left, thank you for your purchase. What next? The purchase gets sent down to my DACUS, or sent up, depending if you're in Australia or not. Sideways. Sideways, sure. Okay, so it gets sent to my DACUS, and then gets sent to Lightspeed. So the purchase is going to exist in both places. Then at that point, you can then go in and close the purchase, say if the person is paying in store, so they can come into store, they can pay cash, and then you can complete that purchase. Or if it's paid online, there's a little setting that you can have put in place where it'll say, okay, well, PayPal was used. I'm going to mark the sale as closed inside of Lightspeed. Okay, and that's part of the settings, uh, the pre-sync settings that you need to consider when setting up your Lightspeed account. But and it works. And that's what well, that's why we're here for, yeah. help you guys with that setup. Yeah, it sounds like it's automated and it's part of a smart store. Yeah, crazy. Very cool. All right. Yeah, guys talking about the automation. Yep. Uh, question from uh, Chris Biggs there. That, that's a good one. Uh, hi, Chris. Uh, I'm, yeah, hi, Chris. Is there a way to export uh, the rebate receipts to be sent directly to the manufacturers using that system? Directly to manufacturers? No. Not that. Uh, yeah, but that's a good idea. Right now, we're at the step of making it easier for you to find your report and find the receipts. And the next step, obviously, is to create better reports and to try to keep on automating that process. But so far, it's a very strong Pat process. just took off his hat, so I think he wants to say something. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. That's yeah. All. So um, the, the, the best way to generate the reports to send to your vendors would be using Lightspeed Analytics, which is an add-on to Lightspeed uh, Retail. And then you can generate a serialized report, which will have um, the customer information, the line item, the serial number of the item, uh, and, and you can just export that by brand as well if you want. And you can even do a custom sell-through report um, for items that might not be serialized but might have uh, instant rebates as well. So that might be an option for you. If you need the specific receipt printed out as the customer received it, then, then Phil was correct. There's no way to automate that. 
um, that's really just a question of pulling them out one by one uh, from your POS or collecting them at the time of sale. Yeah, hopefully that good. answered your question. Yeah, good. That was a good question. You can put your hat on. Sounds like a question. Yes. Someone yes. is already using it for desk, right? That's a <laughs> figure, right? But well, also, we're starting to hear that some vendors, if you're using some modern point of sale, you could start just submitting the report and not providing the receipt because there's enough information in the report. This is something to investigate, but if we can also if we can move forward and provide good enough reports and make it easier for you that you'll have to pull the receipts, it might also be a big win for claiming the uh, the instant rebates. It's not there yet, but this is something that we, we heard from manufacturers that they're going to start accepting just reports and without the receipts. Cool. All right. Okay, I think we've talked enough about the DACUS product information, 150,000 products yeah. in the database and growing rapidly. Well, it's, it's over 150,000. We, we stopped counting. Uh, Data, we have it. You need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, moving along. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, some of the advanced web store features. So some of you have a standard high performance responsive website with us. Uh, some of us, uh, some of you have an advanced website. Um, there are features that could be beneficial to you. Now, if you take a look at what's on the screen, we've recently built these beautiful brand pages, right, where you can showcase a handful of your key, in this case, Canon products with a wonderful banner across the top uh, and a hero product, such as in this case, there's something over it, but I think it's an EOS, EOS R. Oh my God! Oh, it says so right there. Okay, yep. <laughs> look at that. So you can put that hero product up there with some beautiful marketing, which will incite people to add the product directly from the cart from their product page. So you can build these types of pages for any kind of brand, and that's possible within the DAX Advanced Web Store. Yeah, and the Advanced Web Store is also this is a big plus compared to other web stores out there because we have the website component to it. We can make these beautiful brand pages, yep. uh, promotion pages, online flyer pages. If we go back just to the brand pages, so this is a, a Canon page. Um, what also you can benefit from this is that since your account is linked to Google Analytics and so on, and using, well, first of all, using the concierge service, we would build the page for you as mm -hmm. part of the service. Uh, secondly, co-op money. So look at all the co-op money you can gather. A lot of that co-op money can be made with stuff you're already doing online. So get that money and use it for whatever you want. And so this is where the DACUS Advanced Web Store and the concert service is really a benefit to get all that co-op money. Plus also, if you're doing any sort of online advertising, there's a thing called quality score. And the better structure of the page is, the higher quality score, the lower you're going to pay per click and for your advertising. So your, your advertising budget will go a lot further. And so if you're spending thousands or tens of thousands on advertising, well, it pays for itself. Yep. We have a um, customer too, um, not to name them, but they, um, they're building a rebates page, no, a clearance page, right? Yep. Really cool clear here. I'll, I'll take some too. I'll be right back. So they're, they're building a, excuse me, <clears throat> they're building a clearance page. Um, what they've done, and this is cool because they're Lightspeed users too, they've tagged all the products inside of their Lightspeed account a certain way for those clearance items. Um, when you're using Lightspeed, it's incredibly easy for you after the fact to get an export of everything that's tagged a certain way. And since the SKUs match up, you can use something called the VLOOKUP method inside of uh, Microsoft Excel to be able to set tags and create these dynamic pages for you. Now, I know it sounds complicated. Those of you who understood my mumbo jumbo will be able to do it themselves. And those who are on the concierge service and want these types of features, well, they can request them and we can make them for you. Was rum or vodka that you wanted? Uh, a little bit of both, right? All right. All right. Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> Bundles. <laughs> Bundles. Yeah. Um, with the advanced web store features, you can also create product bundles and uh, you can create upsell possibilities through accessory packages, which is really neat. So here's an example of a bundle I created in the, our demo website. Um, I, I called it uh, the Canon SL2 Beginners Combo. So let's assume for a second that you are a photography enthusiast who's been using their iPhone and now they want to go that extra step and actually start taking real pictures. But they want to get serious about it. They want the tripod. They want the bag. They want the memory card. Uh, they want a couple of lenses. You can go into your inventory 
and you can create that inside of your web store. And the beauty of it is that that bundle will get or can get pushed down into Lightspeed, but it can also be created in Lightspeed as an assembly and then pushed up into my DACUS. So again, the automated smart store is doing some crazy stuff there uh, by having the advanced web store features and the Lightspeed retail POS. On the sell side, it's all about better selling. You guys are specialty mm. retailers. So obviously with map pricing, just the camera body, everybody sells it at the same price. But now that you can create bundles, you can have a lower price than yeah. Amazon. You can have a differentiated offering. Also, if you throw in a class, not only are we providing more value, but That's you true. can also say that you're, you're selling for less than all these big box stores. Yeah, there's nothing that would have stopped you from actually add that to the example. That said, you could add a class to this combo as well. And there's nothing better than a class to get somebody in your store and brainwashed about your brand and your business and to get to learn about your business. So You've taken 100 pictures on this walk? Why not make a photo book? Oh. <laughs> and also ex accessory cross-selling, obviously maximizing the sale. So again, bundles, accessory cross-selling, part of the advanced web store. Two great features for better selling and really increasing that amount in the cart. Yeah, and you can really make product-specific uh, accessory packages. So you can have accessory packages for Nikon, Canon, Sony, so on and so forth. Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> The deck is biggest promotion ever. So beside the name, uh, I think one key point here is that we are really committed to the smart store in such a way that once you see what we've done for the biggest promotion ever, you'll understand that we're really into this uh, to prove to you guys that it can work for everybody. We're actually for giving all DACUS revenues on the web store and data to prove to you guys that this is by far the best solution out there. So let's look at some information about the biggest promotion ever. Biggest. But before we get to it, I just want to put some, some number in perspective. So let's say you need to hire a product data guy. So it could cost 3000 a year, so that would be 2500 a month. If you need an IT person to manage your Magento or big commerce site, you might cost $50,000 a year. So we're talking about over $4,000 a month. Mm -hmm. How about that market, that web marketing person that's just there to say, to manage your website that actually is not creating necessarily a lot of value, just managing the website. Well, it, she, that person can create value, but it comes at a very big cost. So let's say that person costs $40,000 a year. We're talking over $3,000 a month. So with a DACA solution, it's a very different type of a synergy that we're putting together. So we want to minimize the body count while at the same time maximizing your resources and expertise through DACIS. So let's get to the pricing. So Lightspeed has really, well, drastically cut the prices mm -hmm. in 2020. Uh, first of all, the point of sale starts at 69 US a month uh, on, a, on a yearly deal. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Adding new point of sale is just $25 a month, or $29 a month. Uh, importantly, you also have access, that is the license for the iPad or the Mac. But you also have a browser-based uh, solution, part of Lightspeed, and that is free of charge. And you can have unlimited number of browser-based uh, point of sale. Very good, Pat. Perfect. Yeah, one more uh, question about the uh, instant rebates. Oh, cool. Sure. Uh, there's a Troy uh, Tomlinson asking, can you apply the ER on bundles only? Like, for example, some manufacturers will give you an instant rebate if you purchase a lens with a camera, but not standalone. So bundles, rebates. So if you, what, Mr. Hat showing up, I think. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Right? That is coming up again. Hey, Patrice. Pat the hat. I saw the hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the hesitation in Ryan's voice. So essentially, Troy, um, the, the way the way that, that the <laughs> bundles and the assemblies work between uh, MyDACIS and Lightspeed, if you make an assembly in Lightspeed, it'll sync up to your MyDACIS. Mm -hmm. If you make a bundle in MyDACIS, it'll sync down to Lightspeed and then just apply the instant rebate to the bundle directly or apply your price promotion rule to the the assembly in Lightspeed directly. Well, so that that's really sense. the way to do it. 
Now, in the case of, of crazy cross promotions where there's five camera bodies and 20 lenses that can all be cross promoted, we're talking about making five times 20 bundles. Uh, that might be too many. So focus on the ones that you know go together and you know your customers want, and, and then you'll hit enough of those uh, items right there. Thank you. There you go. You're welcome. Thanks, Tap the Hat. So we can't fix craziness, but we can fix a lot of the normal cases. Um, also, with Lightspeed, you have some add-ons, including the accounting connector that we talked about for $20 a month. So that's pretty affordable. Uh, analytics, this is a special promotion only through DACUS. The normal price is $150 a month because mm -hmm. it's the you already, you get basic you get some reporting tools with Lightspeed. Analytics, I would have used uh, uh, it's more business intelligence. It's more than just uh, reports. So it, it, it's very powerful in terms of solution. And so it's $75 a month. That's a, an optional add-on that you can also link in with your Lightspeed account. Again, with Lightspeed, you can go buy it on your own. We don't recommend it because if you buy it through DACIS, we can help you do the integration, everything else for a lot less. We'll tell you about some of the horror stories that some of the members have gone out and purchased Lightspeed on their own rather than going through DACIS, uh, but we'll get to that later on. Yeah, yeah. On the DACIS website, again, in the marketplace, we do have a Lightspeed logo. Click on it. You can register for your 14-day uh, free trial if you want to give it a, a run. Also, you can reach us at sales.dacus.com if you want a one-on-one -on -one, uh, screen share session uh, or just to talk about it. And, and again, we can answer most of your Lightspeed questions. And if we don't have the answer, we'll go out and find yeah, it. Yeah, we'll get it. And uh, so we've been at this. We, we know most of the answers. Sometimes we get some tricky ones. Yeah, we're, we're in constant communication with the people from Lightspeed almost in real time. We have our own channel with them. So questions can be uh, or answers can be easily acquired. So now Lightspeed very affordable. So moving along, again comparing to any sort of salary or um, also yeah, that's important. It is also a great time to, to get your automated smart store because not only is Lightspeed having one of these aggressive promotion, it is up to a thousand dollars in hardware when you sign up to uh, the Lightspeed point of sale, and also with Lightspeed payments that comes with Lightspeed point of sale, you also get a free payment terminal per store. And so, so when you, you put everything together, um, you take Lightspeed payments and you take light, Lightspeed Retail POS. Um, I mean, we can arrange for you to get the advanced web store, complete product data, free of charge until December 31st, 2020. You haven't looked at the presentation, have you, Ryan? I have. <laughs> you're, you're getting ahead of yourself. Good. <laughs> yes. Quite exciting. Let's just go on the back <laughs> side of thing in terms of pricing. So, <laughs> with the promotion, what we're doing is that we're activating the advanced web store and the full data bundle because we are so convinced that with all the advanced features and the complete data, your success will increase to a, in a tremendous way. And so, we don't want to walk into this promotion limping. We want you to have the best online store, the best experience, and also to see the financial results that come with it. So this is why we're moving with this promotion, everyone to the advanced web store, the complete data package. Now, if you need to do a redesign or if you need to switch your photo solutions to the DACIS photo solutions, there will be a cost for the re redesign fee between a porting all the way to a full custom redesign. So still the price is a very affordable between uh, $19.95 and uh, 4995 It's still a lot less than 10000 that most companies will charge. A little bit. Uh, the do it for me is also optional. This is if you need us to port all your printing from another solution to the Dactus solution, we do it all for you so you don't have to do anything. Uh, you can do it yourself, but we can help you do it at the same time. Yeah, basically, you submit a couple of PDF documents or spreadsheets to us, and we have staff here on the on staff, uh, yeah. redundant, who will do it for you. Yeah. In terms of promotion, we're putting you on the advanced web store and the full data package. We do have some the standard web store and the high, uh, high performance responsive website, our a bit of a lesser price, not part of the promotion though. And also you can start with all the camera and accessories. So we do have some other offering, but for the biggest promotion, you get the whole nine yards. So you get everything, the uh, all dress solution. Um, before and I, I mix up my slides, but we'll get to this one right away. So if we look at the market, some of, some of the retailers decided to do it myself. So they go out, they pick their 
e-commerce solution, they pick their point of sale solution and whatnot. And most of the time they pick an e-commerce solution that might be free or very low cost. But the thing is, the, the, the web solution is not really the pain point or the high cost part in here. So if you're looking to save some money, you need to look at the global pictures of doing it your, doing yourself or doing the DACIS way. So what other fee can you also encounter if you do it yourself? Well, you'll need a product data employee, mm -hmm. like YM did and like uh, the camera company did and so on. So even if it's $10 an hour, we're still looking at seven, over $1,700 a month in terms of fees. So this is where we're, we're starting to see that it's going to add up quickly. And then if you have your own e-commerce solution because you wanted a lot of flexibility, it's great. You wanted a lot of flexibility, but for what reason? It comes out at price tag. So if you have an IT person, let's say they cost 50000 So put any number that you want, but we're talking several thousand dollars a month. So now we're not in the same league. We're not in the same ballgame in terms of cost to operate your web store right now. And obviously, if you're operating your own web store and everything else, you're going to need that web marketing person that you don't need with us. So you're looking at another couple thousand a month for that web marketing person. Um, and then you'll probably want to do integration. We see a lot of members integrating a third-party web store like Magento and BigCommerce into their current point of sale. And that is usually a disaster that's costing tens of thousands of dollars and taking months and years. So you're looking at a project that you have full control on, but that control is just an illusion. It comes with a lot of costs, headaches, and it steers you away from your real goal of selling more products and, and running a better business. If you look at the DACIS way, whoops, it's okay, just click on a presentation. <clears throat> so the DACIS solutions, the, the, the web store, the data and everything else, it's not the cheapest out there, but obviously it's not the most expensive out there either. Uh, so we find it's really really reasonable price to provide all the extra services and everything else and to make you avoid a lot of cost. And so with that, is you're looking at having the high responsive website and the web store, the complete data into it. So it's all this a software that does most of the work for you. Yep. You don't need an IT person and you certainly don't need also a, a product to, a person to enter uh, data. Uh, obviously, then your marketing, your regular marketing person uh, can take over the job of that web marketing person that you need in the do-it-yourself scenario. Uh, so you're saving a lot on salaries. And at the end of the day, we can host, also, if you tag along DECA's concierge service with it, you're looking at a lot higher execution. Uh, you're dealing with people that know that knows the industry. And also your DACIS concierge is not only a Google expert and certified expert, but he also has access to our designers, programmers, mm -hmm. and, and product information teams. So he can also delegate depending on what he's doing for you. So then you're getting a very low cost and agile company at a much more affordable total cost of operation or ownership. And when you get started with the automated smart store, Again, just to put some, some numbers into place. Uh, we're, we're confident that you're going to move your sales to about 10000 a month as you get started. So with $10,000 a month online, uh, if you look at the various statistics and report, it's pretty safe to say you're going to get six to ten times that amount in in-store sales, so walk-in. So again, we've talked about putting all your product available online, moving from a few dozens to a few hundred products to thousands of products online because that will really affect your online sales and your walk-in sales. So we see that multiplication effect of what you're selling online, you're selling a lot more in store, but it's because people, you're being found, and also the number of sales online really reflects also the number of sales in store. Now, let's say you're in the do-it-yourself do scenario. We were looking at about $10,000 a month in cost, and you didn't start advertising yet and, 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 and anything else. So that scenario is not very profitable for your business. And with the DACA solution, so we've taken some, some guys from zero to over $100,000 a month in mm -hmm. online sales. So these are real cases. And so this is why we're so confident about the automated smart store is that you will see that progression. If you do it right, you'll see that once you hit a certain key point, the web takes you along and then you just start growing. So. By increasing your online sales, that ratio of in-store sales will, will, 
will get a bit smaller, but overall your total sales volume will greatly increase because of your 800 pound gorilla website really working for you. And this is true, st it's true stats, we've seen it, we've experienced it, and it works. And so once you reach, reach that point, now you can consider investing more in marketing and advertising yeah, and pocketing some of that profit too, which is kind of good. So what is the biggest promotion ever? So like I said, on the Lightspeed yeah. side, it's great because they have until March 20th that uh, rebate on a hardware and that free payment, payment terminal. On the DACA side, once you sign up with Lightspeed Point of Sale and also Lightspeed Payments, you get the DACA's advanced web store and the complete product information free of charge until the end of the year, until December 31st of this year. So the sooner you sign up, the more you save. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're so confident about this is going to work for you guys that we're willing to forfeit all our revenue on this and to, to, to demonstrate to you guys that it's going to work. Also, like I said, we don't want to limp into this deal. We want you guys to have the advanced web store, the full data, and to live the full experience so that we can really demonstrate the value of that automated smart store. So for us, we're making a bet that we're, we know it's going to work. We want you to know it's going to work. And then we're going to stay in business together. So this is why we're making this bet. And there will not be a bigger promotion. This is our yearly promotion. And so the sooner you start, the, sooner, the more you save. Yes, yeah, true. Um, also, we want to clarify a question because we've been talking about Lightspeed a lot of pro shows and through all our advertising and so on, and some members have gone and signed up with Lightspeed on their yeah. own. Um, well, first of all, DACIS is, is a Lightspeed partner and also a development partner. So we are tightly integrated with Lightspeed and we can resell Lightspeed and we can, we'll, we'll have the best pricing for you and look out for all the rebates that there are. So. Uh, we are the best partner to have for that. When you buy through DACIS, uh, we can help you make a more affordable transition. Uh, we have a well-documented method of moving from an old point of sale to a new one. And so we're going to talk about it briefly later on. But we can turn this from a yearly struggle to a two to four week project, even less sometimes. Yeah, um, depending on how well the data is organized. Yeah, and both the Lightspeed side and and then your my DAX account on it. it can, like, what's the 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 pull button you pushed? It's twenty four hours actually. You know, if your stuff is well organized, after twenty four hours, once you push that button, you're going to have a populated account. Yeah. So we're talking about something that can be very manageable. Um, also, if there's some homework you want to do right away to make this even a smoother transition. Make sure in your current point of sale that you do add UPCs to your products oh, absolutely. and SKUs. Absolutely. This is going to be a key point to making that transition very easy. Also, if you have a way to archive or delete old products, because you've probably been running your point of sale for 10, 20 years now. So clean it up before you make the transition. It's going to make it a lot simpler for you at the same time. And this is a process we're going to do anyway before we do the transition. But if you want to take some, some homework and start right away, Make sure you put UPCs and SKUs on your product and you are able to archive or delete older unused products anymore. The, the importance of UPCs, eh? like if you don't have them inside of your point of sale, Dacus is going to look at this product and pretty much say, I don't know what to do with it. You know, so yeah. without the UPCs, you're kind of dead in the water. So it's important to get them. On that note, we had another customer who signed up to Lightspeed and um, they had no UPCs, but, and this is a strange case and I loved it. They had SKUs, and their SKUs matched their MyDAX account, and it matched their Lightspeed POS. And it was like a Hail Mary, and it worked. Yeah. So I mean, you don't have the UPCs. There are certain things you can do, but um, get the UPCs, because that was an unusual case. Also, um, we built some tools to automate that process, so we're very efficient what we do in terms of making that transition. You know, I got the 10-minute marks here, yeah, so we're going to get going. Warned. Okay. Uh, just maybe... A word on the uh, the Pulse photo case? On the Pulse photo case, right. So they signed on to Lightspeed. They didn't sign on through us. And one of the issues here was that the person that they were talking to through Lightspeed, Pulse photo was communicating their priorities and their issues with them, you know, their daily struggles. Lightspeed, not knowing that they're integrating to, to Dacus for a web store and whatnot, said, well, you need to do things this way. Now, it turns out that what they suggested completely breaks the web store. Right, and it makes like the pro, 
it makes the process completely difficult to manage. Like it just makes it a very difficult process. So recently, I mean, I got in touch with Paul's photo and we spent a lot of time repairing the issue. Now they're, now it's like top notch, it's top shelf, you know? Yeah. So there's still a couple of bumps in the road, but we've managed to clean it up basically through the concierge service and utilizing the concierge service to do that. But we were able to, okay? So had they bought Lightspeed through Dacus, this, months. My, yeah, like I mean, this would have been a couple of week process. Yeah, it would have been easy. I would say months of headaches that would have been avoided and yeah, time exactly. not well spent. Yeah, yeah, just imagine the headaches exactly. There are tons of headaches. So again, pick up the phone. You can give a call. Ryan, um, question from uh, Tony. Hey. Have we moved yet uh, anyone from Profitline POS? And did if so, if they had uh, multi stores from Profitline to. Uh, so to, your yeah, okay. to your knowledge, okay. To my knowledge, no, but um, it's it's all about the spreadsheet that comes out in the end yeah. of the day. It doesn't really matter about what uh, point of sale you're using. Oh yeah, any point of sale can put out a CSV. That's all we yeah. need. So uh, we're not scared of putting old point of sale. They can all spit out a CSV. So yeah, and multi store. Um, no, like I mean, we have multi store settings inside of my Dacus, and you can set employees and registers for specific stores inside of Lightspeed as well. So, no, it works. And also, I, I think one of our claim to fame between the Dacus web store and the Lightspeed point of sale is that we do support multi-store operations where the uh, Lightspeed e does not. So this is also a key thing. If you have mm -hmm. multiple stores, the Dacus web store is really the way to go for Lightspeed and Dacus. Yep. Okay. Contact us. Go on Dacus.com. You have our contact information. Things got fast. <laughs> All right, we'll be able to show you the, uh, to, to share with you the presentation, but in a nutshell, DAC is, if, we, if you understand the service that we offer through Concierge and you stick to what you do best, it creates a great synergy. And with Paul's photo and Horn photo and, and some of these stores, it, it does for a great teamwork. Spartan photo. Spartan photo, so yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of stores, we have over 40 people uh, on the pro group in the, on the Concierge service. Uh, we've reached over 60 uh, organizations now, uh, camera stores on the concierge service, so it is a, a, a very good solution. We're running out of time. We'll be able maybe to talk about a, a bit more about it, or do have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, call with us for the concierge service. Mm -hmm. We can go all about it. You can see a lot of stuff that we can do through this, but we basically become your best part-time employee. Uh, highly skilled, knowing the industry, Google expert, and able to help you on a lot of subjects, including Google, uh, paid advertising, connecting to manufacturer website, yeah. uh, point of sale integration, and so on. And as far as being a part-time employee with the amount of knowledge that we have, we're a very affordable part-time employee. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you want to see somebody that's through the Dacus Concierge and Dacus web store that is highly successful, uh, Joel at Cameraland in New York. He's a, he's a true beast. So if you want to yeah. have a drink with somebody and talk how to sell online, he's really your go-to guy. He's a, he's a monster online today. Uh, Nelson Photo, another person using the Dacus concierge service. Also, again, that great synergy between their business and Dacus on how they're focusing on, on marketing and selling. And they leave to us what they don't like to do or what we can do a lot faster and better than they can at a much more affordable price and also to minimize the number of staff that they need to operate their business. So uh, give Larry a call. He'll be able to talk about the Dacus concierge service and how they're using it with, uh, with us. Horn Photo, also another one using service in a great way. Hi, Stan. So give him a call. Thanks for the treat. Uh... Yeah, they're delicious. <laughs> uh, we, we took the opportunity to do a, a, a 5 a set, a uh, happy nice. hour at Dacus nice. for this. There you go. Thanks, Stan. Um, also, a lot of people, I'm just getting ahead of myself in terms of questions. What if my point of sale uh, loses internet? Well, nowadays, a lot of companies out there, internet providers, are offering LTE backup. So a lot of your internet connection come with uh, 4G LTE backup. So look at your uh, internet provider, see if they're offering this, but this is a great way to make sure that you are a digital business, you stay in business with connected to the web, not only for your point of sale, but also for everything else that you run in your business. 
And now we are at the question and answers. And uh, so there are no more questions uh, at this point. Yeah. So uh, and there are still a few minutes, but I want to remind uh, the audience we will be ending that very broadcast in a few minutes, but reopening a new a second broadcast because some of you there are still 19 person on the line. Uh, it's not too late. You can register to the Dacus user group that's following uh, that presentation. Uh, it's starting at 3.30, so in uh, 10 minutes from now. Uh, if there are no more questions, obviously, I'm assuming. Uh, uh, just maybe an word, uh, Patrick. So obviously, you know how to reach us through uh, sales at dacus.com or our phone number. Um, so this, well, tomorrow and next week, we're taking one-on-one -on -one meetings. Mm -hmm. Uh, the week after, we'll be trying to uh, do more sessions on specific topic that we get questions from uh, next week. Obviously, uh, manufacturers to rebate, we'll have a session on this. Uh, in the DACUS user group, we're also talking about web accessibility. And so for us, the digital trade show will be co continuing for the next two weeks. Yeah, yeah. But please do take the time to give us a call for that one-on-one -on -one meeting. I think it's well worth it. And like I said, it, there's never been a better time to come on board for this automated smart store. It is a real game changer. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Uh, we talked a lot. I had fun doing this presentation with you, Phil. Likewise, Ryan. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be good on TV. <laughs> talking to a camera is not, I, I don't think my type Just of thing. Just talking to Pat. Oh, well, he's over there. We should put Pat over there. You did good. You did good, Phil. Thanks everyone. Thanks everyone. Sorry we didn't get to see you, but uh, obviously looking forward to yeah. getting hey, hey, to wash your hands. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. So yeah, thanks everybody, and uh, Thank we'll you. come back in a few minutes from now. Like uh, I said, uh, we'll be starting the Dacus user group in a few minutes. So I think ten of you are Good subscribed job. already. It's not too late to subscribe to that link you received. It's a different link. So for the one who are online, you're gonna have to. Uh, and your um, the current presentation, okay? It it won't be on the same uh, broadcast, okay? If you so, haven't registered for it, open up one of the e-blasts and hit the register button. That's it. That should be easy to find. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So thank you very much, everybody, and see you very very soon. Ciao. Ciao.